Now that I've shown you what I've upgraded to, it's time to show you what I'm upgrading from. Mm. Weird. Before we get into this video, I just want to say I apologize for the bad lighting. Hey guys, it's the Farming Cuber, and today I will be unboxing my iPhone 8. So, I just went and picked this up today, and um, it is going to be replacing my old SE. So you have iPhone on the side, Apple logo, and the only thing you need to know on the back is that this is the 128 gigabyte version. So let's just get right into the box. So we have our Designed by Apple in California pamphlet thing. Set that aside. And we have a quick start guide basically telling us how to use an iPhone. We have our warranty information and we have a set of Apple stickers. We have the actual phone itself all fully set up and ready to go with all my stuff on it and we have our headphones without the dongle for the headphone jack adapter. Got your pretty standard wall outlet and last is a brand new lightning cable. Can never have too many of these. Let me clean all this up. Fall that out of the way. Here's the phone. As you can see at the top we have our speaker for your earpiece as well as your front facing camera and your home button down at the bottom. That's what the front looks like. On the right side we have our sleep wake button and our sim card tray. On the bottom we have our speakers and our lightning port. On the side we have our volume buttons and silence switch. Nothing on the top and on the back we have a camera, a microphone, and a flash. So, now it's time for the best part of the entire unboxing. Removing the film. There we go, a pristine iPhone. Look at that. It's beautiful. So, to protect my beautiful iPhone, I got me a case as well. It's, the box is a little ripped because reasons. It's nothing to do with where I got it. But yeah, let me just uh, install the case real quick. All right, there we go. Phone's in the case. Pristine, as you would expect. Oh, no, it's not in the case fully. Otter box. Here we go. Phones in the case. Now that I've shown you what I've upgraded to, it's time to show you what I've upgraded from. So this is my iPhone SE. It has served me very well over the past three and a half years, believe it or not. It's been that long. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out of the case so I can show it to you. Case is kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, this is what I've upgraded from. This is what all of the videos on my channel thus far have been recorded on is this iPhone SE. And I think this microphone is kind of messed up. Uh, again, same basic layout. You have your camera, you have your earpiece, you have your home button, uh, vibrate switch on or off. This one has an actual motor on the inside, uh, your volume buttons, headphone jack, microphone, lightning, and your speaker, uh, SIM card tray, and your power button, as well as your antennae on the side and on the back. Um, this particular one is the 64 gigabyte version of the iPhone SE. Um, and like I said, I got this, um, over three and a half years ago, so it's probably been, oh, you, you can't really expect a phone to last much longer, especially this one, because, I mean, the battery on this thing is kind of eh. 
So, yeah. Now, just since I have the chance, I'm going to show you what my setup used to look like for recording videos. I fully admit this room is kind of a mess, but what I have here is I just have a card table set up. I have a tripod that's broken mounted to another tripod that's mounted to a makeshift phone mount that I just drilled a hole into to get it to work with the tripod. And then my phone just sits in there and then I record everything on this uh, black card tables. This is what my setup has looked like for the um, 2020 Cube Collection video and I'll continue to be using this um, table for a little while yet. I don't really have any reason to upgrade. And then the room that this is in is not very well lit so I've had to use a camera flash for this unboxing. Um, in order to make it well lit enough, but then basically I have a chair back here and then I sit in the chair uh, kind of Straddle my legs scooch up and then get a nice top-down recording from my tripod Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Unfortunately, YouTube took all the comments off my videos due to the fact that I have them set as made for kids, if I haven't already addressed that. Um, anyway, I would like to tell you guys, as always, to stay corny, and I will see you all in the next video.